Oh, well, it's Friday. It's another video on my channel. Just before I start recording this video, I've been watching this heartbreaking videos on YouTube where adult kids asking for their step parents to adopt them. I don't really know how it works in the United States, but I guess it's a really big deal. I don't really know the procedure. I don't think in Europe we have the same type of possibility of adopting foster kids <laughs> but it's always so emotional the fathers are crying the stepmothers are crying everybody's crying it's so emotional all the time but anyways this week i'm gonna show you some of the small leather goods i've been purchasing and i really wanted to show you i love this type of video it always makes me curious what people are buying and actually when you're buying something substantial and quite expensive it's always nice to see some review before you actually uh, pull the trigger <laughs> and buy it yourself. I never really used a passport holder, but I've been actually traveling past 10 years a lot. I've been moving a lot. And my passport is actually looking quite big because I always put a luggage tag a sticker <laughs> my passport i don't know why they keep doing that but anyways when you check in your luggage in so i've been looking at some passport holders and i i decided to go for a gucci one uh, first i've been looking at uh, louis vuitton and they've got some pretty cute passport holders but those are literally not really a passport holder but a passport cover and the price probably i think it's 20 euros cheaper than a gucci i was trying to see in prague if they have some louis vuitton this limited edition ones and they didn't have for sale at all everything was sold out so like probably immediately there's a huge collectors obviously for the louis vuitton things and especially when it comes to limited edition so yeah sure it was not possible to get it in prague it was not possible to deliver it in prague and then i started browsing the different type of passport holders and i stumbled upon my favorite gucci the thing about gucci i love gucci so much and i have so many bags <laughs> most of my bags are actually gucci and actually to have a passport cover or holder in this case in a gucci canva is actually fits with a dane car probably of my style if you will so i went to gucci.com <laughs> and i started checking for the passport holder but they actually didn't include the possibility to buy it online you have to go actually to the physical store and buy it so they let me check if there are any gucci passport holders available in my area and yes it was this pa passport holder was just around the corner of my house so i went to the gucci i checked the passport holder and i bought it immediately because first of all it's absolutely beautiful cover it's classic gg canva and it actually comes with a button snap closure which is kind of cool but again this is not a passport cover as louis vuitton is this is literally a passport holder so basically you can stick your passport in it you can put your credit cards in it you can stick some boarding passes in it and it will fit a lot so on the back side of the passport holder it's a classic gucci canva trimmed with a leather and there is a gucci logo on that cover as well when you open it up so you stick basically one of the cover of your passport in this compartment and here you can stick your credit card i don't i never really understood this type of credit card holders who put their credit cards or id in these type of slots because you can't really carry your credit cards and a passport unless you um, traveling but then again how often you take your passport with you when you, if you go for example to a restaurant or shopping so for me this is completely pointless for me this is just a waste of uh space but it's nice to have it's nice they included this and it's very sturdy it looks very very nice i really like it. it's actually on a snap button it's a gorgeous beautiful passport holder the only thing is i always travel with these type of small purses because it holds everything extra credit card passport extra telephone everything is in these type of bags so for me it was very important if this passport holder will fit in my passport holder of this bag so i took my balenciaga travel pouch which i always travel with i always carry my all my documents and essentials with with me so is a passport so i went to gucci and asked can i try to put my passport holder inside this bag she said yes and it fits just perfectly it fits absolutely neatly that's how i actually always travel it's a dark travel pouch and i always hide it under my jacket so i will not lose it it's my passport in it and all the essential documents i'm traveling with so it fits just 
perfect. I really love this passport holder. It's really, really cool. It's my first passport holder in my life. And, and yeah, I'm glad I went for a Gucci one because again, it fits amazing with DNA of my style, of my Gucci style. I'm a huge fan of Gigi. So I'm very happy I got this amazing passport cover. Last time I, I was actually talking about my hand luggage. So I always take with me when I travel. So this is one of uh, that. And this is a Gucci limited edition with Disney. And here's my first Prada keychain hanging on top of it. And this is my second one. And that's exactly what I was talking about last time. I showed this Balenciaga cosmetic pouch. Keep all organizer. Because when I put my laptop inside, some chargers, my Nintendo or something like that. So everything all together become a huge mess. So when I bought this Balenciaga, I don't know, cosmetic pouch, it will help me to organize my stuff inside my hand luggage and it fits just perfect. I actually prefer this hand luggage over that one, even though this is bigger one. And this one is actually made of Gucci Canva, so you can go under snow or rain with it. This, on the other hand, is not coated. It might leave some stains from the raindrops, which I honestly don't care. I, I strongly believe that all these dots, all, all the wine spills, all these rips and everything, it gives a character to the piece, like, for example, a hand luggage. So I honestly don't care if it, it will be damaged by the raindrop. It's a bag, it's supposed to be used every day, or oh, I don't know, when you travel. So for me, this is absolutely stupid theory. When you buy something expensive and you don't really use it often because you're afraid it will damage the goods. Please, check the H&M t-shirts. It can go through hundreds of washes and literally nothing will happen to it. Why do you think the Gucci will be damaged? Anyway, here's my Prada keychain, which I bought last time I, I visited the Barcelona. So I want to strap it to this handle so it will look actually a bit more cool and not as boring as it is right now. I absolutely love Prada keychains, but they so heavily overpriced this is ridiculous well anyways everything is overpriced when it comes to luxury goods and <laughs> prices are keep increasing and increasing if you buy something today maybe in a year it will be even more expensive as it is right now anyways so so yeah there you go it looks so much better right now this is one of my hand luggages with a monte carlo strap and here's my another gucci hand luggage with a aruba prada keychain looks so much better i like it a lot and i like how it hugs and wraps around the handle it looks absolutely gorgeous luggage tag it's made of leather and it's prada and it looks really really cool i'm super happy about it anyways i called to balenciaga and asked them if they have any key holders not a keychain because i never really use a key chains as a keychain so i already said that in my previous video who's watching i don't know who's watching anyway don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video so i called the uh, balenciaga because i have a two apartments i have two sets of keys so i called them and i asked them is there any chance you have nice key holder because my mom got one from balenciaga and i was really hoping to still have one as well for me because i really like that one a lot the one she has and they told me yeah we have one so they sent me this key holder and uh, something else as well but anyways here's it key holder the Balenciaga sent me. I don't really care about the scandal with Balenciaga. Yeah, the scandal is really controversial. But anyway, if you like a brand, you like a brand. And in my philosophy, don't try to be acquainted with the artist, especially if you really like his or her artwork. What's my point is, it. Uh, yeah, I hear myself now. People will say, you supporting Balenciaga with money. They exploit and everything. Guys, please. If you don't want to support Balenciaga, don't support Balenciaga. I like Balenciaga, I love Balenciaga. I'm not going to say no to Balenciaga because of the scandal being hyped up all over the internet. Oh, Jesus Christ, you go to YouTube, you go to TikTok, and everybody, absolutely every single one, TikToker, YouTuber, a blogger, have a super important opinion about Balenciaga, how everybody should 
boycott them or oh, please if you want to boycott Balenciaga if you don't want to support Balenciaga with your own hard-earned cash don't I like Balenciaga I like what they do and I really don't care what the masses have to say and it's not because I share the values I just like the product they're creating anyways this is absolutely beautiful leather key holder from Balenciaga I really like the floral motifs from Balenciaga I really love the floral print they creating and this is so cute it's a soft very soft leather and it's oh yeah there you go it says a Balenciaga on the side of the key holder you can actually stick your credit card or something inside maybe electronic keys or something oh here's actually another uh, credit card or something like this um, holder on the side yeah it actually looks like that so you can you can actually put something in here as well i really love this flower motif and this key holder is absolutely beautiful so anyways you can hang i think like one two three six keys on it and a car key if you need if you attach the car key to this key holder you can't really put a car key like that because you will not be able to close it so car key will be hanging here or you can actually attach a chain <laughs> i never thought about that you can attach a chain to the loop of your jeans and to this or maybe that's what it's made for yeah so anyways it's absolutely beautiful balenciaga key holder it's a super soft very soft leather and i really love the print print is absolutely amazing you know when it comes to balenciaga and the floral prints it's very hard to imagine that they can create something very feminine and something very floral something very <laughs> not as brutal as the main collection or what they create for men or what they create also for women so when i see something so uh, beautifully printed this is a gorgeous print really this is a beautiful floral print from balenciaga it's uh, very unexpected for me this is very unexpected but anyway this is absolutely gorgeous key holder from balenciaga it was quite cheap well compared to the price no it, it, it was expensive it was Balenciaga prices Jesus Christ it was quite cheap it wasn't cheap but it's absolutely beautiful and I really like the key holder and I really really love the print and it doesn't look like it doesn't scream Balenciaga really maybe I don't know the roots of Balenciaga maybe I don't know the heritage uh, of the Balenciaga but anyway for me it's beautiful key holder I'm gonna put it to use I really do need it because again I have two sets of keys and my other key holder which my boy boyfriend have it right now he's not at home is a Gucci but double Gucci I don't know it's too much Gucci so uh, here's my another Balenciaga piece I didn't really plan to buy it but the shopping assistant at Balenciaga told me we've got such a cool little pouch we want you to have it they showed it to me and they because I requested a keychain or key holder and they said this is without a chain but anyways it's a really cool little pouch so why don't you give it a try i checked it out and i thought sure i'm gonna have it as well so this is a basic i don't know they call it you know when you're watching um reviews on louis vuitton mini pochette as they call these type of things there's a cult following of this mini pochette this is just ridiculous when i watch this kind of videos i like to watch unpacking of the louis vuitton mini pochette i like what fits inside my little purse i like this idea of a uh, little pouch reviews i don't know my life is too hectic and too busy so when i want to relax my brain and watch this type of videos anyways as a cult following out of, of mini pochette and many people is just drooling over that mini pochette which for me is very ridiculous considering the mini pochette is not a leather it's a canvas and the price is right now is 770 us dollars in the states it's up to thousand with taxes in canada and yeah in europe it's cost i think 500 i believe 10 euros or 530 it's 565 euros in a canvas and 610 i believe in euros in leather with this size of a leather pouch for me this is just absolutely ridiculous a thousand canadian 
oh okay 770 us dollars uh, 600 of nearly euros for uh, this size of a uh, a leather pouch are you kidding me and it's not only me who is frustrated of the price increase in a louis vuitton business yeah i i get it as a huge demand for this little pochette little push for me i don't really understand the point of a little pouch honestly i have no idea when they say it it's a oh, throw, throw. they call it throw all or keep all what all? What, what all can you fit in this type of bag? What exactly can you practically fit in this type of little pouch? Probably two lipsticks, one, I don't know, a credit card, uh, maybe keys, uh, if you're lucky, if you are two keys on a keychain, maybe that will fit. That's about it. They're hanging on a chain, they put it in some, I mean, seriously, for me, this is just ridiculous. They're trying to justify the huge purchase, 770 US dollars, that's a lot of money for a little thing, which is completely unpractical yeah i got it it's a hype thing people going crazy on youtube if you type in a google search a review on a mini pochette or what fits in my mini pochette a thousands of videos of people drooling over this one they're collecting a different variations of mini pochette there's a limited editions of course there's a lesser version but still if you go to gucci it's called literally it's just 10 centimeters longer and it's called Fidia Large Cosmetic Case. That's 390 euros. 390 euros for this amazing large cosmetic case. It's called Large Cosmetic Case. But again, it's a classic Gucci. Uh, then again, it's a very sturdy Gucci Canva. I'm a huge uh, Gucci Canva fan. It's a beautiful classic piece. And it fi can fit a lot. If it's too big for you, you can go to Balenciaga. And you can get this one, I don't know, probably 390, maybe 400 euros. Uh, I got it quite cheap anyways, because it was on sale. And it's a leather, gorgeous Balenciaga piece. It's a black leather. And there's actually, um, again, mini pochette doesn't have any compartments. And they're always saying, oh, it's lined with uh, some type of fabric. Oh, wow. Yeah, sure. That really is justifying the price of a 770 US dollars. The Balenciaga piece, you can't really tell, but it's not only lined in a lamb leather. It's lined in lamb leather, for real. There's a one compartment here for a credit card. There's one large fairly large compartment for whatever you want to carry there and there's another one compartment there's three compartment and this beautiful classic iconic balenciaga piece for me this is just ridiculous to hear the prices for louis vuitton mini pochette and how many people are drooling collecting running after after this little pouch this is beautiful first of all this is very masculine yeah i see a lot of guys what's it fits in my uh, uh mini pochette what will fit practically in your mini pochette i bought this one because i'm a blogger i have a million of small sd cards for my cameras i have uh, uh headphones i have what practically can i put inside as well i never wear a uh, lip balm i never wear anything <laughs> i mean uh SD cards and a headphones and uh, that's about it okay sure I can fit inside my keys which is already ridiculous because my keys probably will be in my pocket or inside the larger bag so for me yeah sure it's a not a catch-all because all it cannot catch it's a ridiculous name for a small uh, wallet piece a uh, small pouch it's 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 ridiculous for me this is absolutely unjustifiable purchase if you're buying it for a full price louis vuitton never has sales maybe a private sales which you're never probably gonna get and uh for me a ridiculous this is absolutely gorgeous balenciaga piece i absolutely love the design it's lined with a lamb leather with the softest amazing lamb leather and yeah there are the three compartments inside this small pouch and it says huge balenciaga on the side which i love because i'm a huge lager maniac for me it's stupid to buy a louis vuitton mini pochette for that price 150 euros sure let me put it this way 250 279 that's a amazing price which it wore two years ago now it's 770 in the united states and it's a thousand canadian in canada including taxes beat that so i'm wondering what's the alternative for mini pochette louis vuitton 
my boyfriend just came in. Дай мне Gucci эту как ее ключ ключницу. My boyfriend just came in. That's exactly what I was telling you about. This is a my key holder from Gucci. Why I keep keep on getting this key holder? Because if I put my keys on the back pocket of my jeans, with time, if it's your favorite jeans and you're wearing it regularly, it will ruin your back pocket. So that's why I absolutely love this type of uh, key holders. This one is uh, in case I have a, one apartment have two keys more than another. So this one is for that because it can fit way more keys without being too bulky. And this is my brand new one for my other apartment. And I have only two keys from that apartment and it will fit just nicely and it looks beautiful. And even together, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the combination of Balenciaga Gucci. Their collaboration was absolutely epic. The only thing I've got from that collaboration was a scarf. Dania, Kenya, Gucci Balenciaga, маленький шарфик. The only thing I, I, I managed to snatch from that collaboration was this beautiful, a uh, small scarf Gucci Balenciaga collaboration with a cool silver strap um, logo here. I've been in Barcelona at the time and uh, they didn't have anything. They had only in like flagship stores in Barcelona. They didn't carry anything. So I bought this one online. Oh yeah, sure. I've got the also amazing necklace, which I got for, for my birthday from one of my favorite partners on my other YouTube channel. And it's a Gucci Balenciaga plastic cubes necklace, which I absolutely love. Anyway, this was my only collaboration. And I think a collaboration between Gucci and Balenciaga is absolutely epic. And when you combine two brands together, it always looks cool. Anyways, so this is two of my key holders. And this is my alternative for the mini pushette. Way better, way roomier, way better quality for sure because it's a lamb leather with a lined with a lamb. I keep repeating myself, but for me it's an absolutely cool idea. And there's Balenciaga logo inside, stamped in silver. Beautiful mini pushette by Balenciaga which I definitely prefer, especially for the price I've got it. It was just ridiculous price. I would be considering myself stupid if I'll pass on that one. And I didn't, and I'm very happy, even though, honestly, let me just be clear as a day. I don't need it. <laughs> honestly, I don't need it. But the price was so good, and I thought, sure, my headphones <laughs> and my SD cards need the Balenciaga pouch for, to carry. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, consider giving this video a huge delicious thumbs up. If you speak Russian, I have three other channels where I post almost daily. On one channel, it's definitely daily. So subscribe everywhere. I'll be very happy to see you next Friday as well. Again, thank you so much for bearing with me while I'm trying to speak English. I'm still stressed in front of the camera. I'm still like, oh my God, I'm still in my head when it comes to camera and speak English. My English is actually fine. I watch TV in English, I speak in English. I keep changing countries, I keep talking English with everyone. I don't have a trouble speaking English. But all the time I'm turning the camera on, I'm like, oh gosh, I need to say this correctly. This ending of the word should be correct. This, this, oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm sweating. I'm five years on YouTube and I'm still sweating and losing it when it comes to my English channel. Anyways, I never stop. So consider subscribing. Next Thursday will be amazing. As my video on this channel. And next Friday will be amazing. <laughs> New fashion related, hopefully, video. Bye.